this is an article by, um, I found it on uh, livinginhappyplace.com. So I, I read it. I wanted to say living in a happy place, but there's no uh. So it's just livinginhappyplace.com. Um, and it's five games to play with kids when you have to wait. So some of these are like oldies, but goodies. And then there are some that I had never even thought of. But anyway, number one is called What's Missing. So this is perfect for restaurants. I mean, anywhere that you have to wait, you can just use um, like somebody who's it. So the person who's it takes a couple items and puts them down. And then, um, you know, everybody looks at the items and then they close their eyes. And so the person who, who's it takes one of the items away and then everyone opens their eyes and the first person to guess what's missing wins. I've done this in preschool. Really? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'll get like a little, I have like this flat basket thing and um, I'll do a whole bunch of things that like are blue or something that starts with the letter B, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we put them all on and they, maybe they pick it up and they describe it. And this can be stuff like that's just like in your purse floating around, you know, or just like in dad's pocket. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then the kids get like, I don't know, 30 seconds to look at it and then they all close their eyes and take something away. And then, yeah, they have to guess. We do this all the time. That's awesome. I love this game. Yeah, I've never actually played it, but now I'm like, okay, well, next time I'm definitely going to play this game. Um, so the second one is I Spy, which is a an oldie but a goodie. Mm -hmm. Loved playing I Spy, like on road trips. I Spy with my little eye something, you know. And, I mean, the, the cool thing about I Spy is that you don't have to collect items. Like, say you're somewhere mm -hmm. where there's just nothing available. Um, you can play I Spy instead. Um, and then we have thumb wars. I always lose. <laughs> I, I do too. I never win. I do too, man. I have little thumbs. This one time, it was like middle school or something. The person I was playing with like pressed with all of her might on my thumbs and it hurt. And so like, I haven't played since. Like I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, my thumbs are like, they're, they're really small. And so like it hurt. So I was like, oh, I'm like scared now that somebody's going to like break my thumbs. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Michael tried to play with me because, like, well, I don't know. He'll want to do something, and I don't want to do it or whatever the thing is. And he's like, well, let's do thumb wars. But his hands are, like, huge. And so I can't even, like, my th even if I try to, like, bend my thumb back, it doesn't matter. He's just like, boom. Just <laughs> And then I'm like, I don't even want to play. I don't even want to play with you. That's funny. This reminds me, too. I mean, even if, you know, if you have, like, if you have sensitive thumbs like me, um, you you can play, like, rock, paper, scissors or something, too. You know, mm -hmm. it's the same kind of thing. Um, and then this one, the next one is listen to this. So you have the kids close their eyes and then you use something from the table or the room to make a noise. And then you, you know, they close their eyes and they shake it. And then, um, you know, they have to guess what it is based on the sound. Um, so this, I mean, this might not be the best game if it's like super quiet where you are and everyone's like super quiet mm -hmm. or something. But yeah, at, a, at like a loud restaurant, it's probably, probably fine. Um, even in yeah. you know waiting room where there's tons of people, there's going to be lots of noise. So um, I just I've been in waiting rooms where it's just like me and one other person, <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, oh yeah, so I have to be extra anyway. Um, and then the I think this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one. Um, it's called Chicken Scratch. So um, I already love it. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> um, so basically, you get like any type of paper, and then you basically you just draw a character. So you can draw, you can try to draw like a character from their favorite movie or something, and then they have to guess what it is. And so, especially if you're like me and you're not, you're not an artist and you don't draw that well or you don't paint very well. Um, it like the worse the drawing, the funnier the game. <laughs> <laughs> so like I don't know so I just I don't know all of these are really good games and I'm like damn like I'm gonna I'm gonna play these next time I'm waiting somewhere with Lily I'll do I'll probably do I Spy and then you know Chicken Scratch would be funny too I think but yeah these are all really good um, I'm glad I found this article <laughs> when we were little and we had to go to the doctor's office my dad like when you like after you were in the waiting room and you got to the actual like doctor room whatever the exam room we always had to wait another like 20 minutes for the doctor would actually come in dad would find the surgical gloves and make balloons out of them you know he'd like blow them up and tie them or he would like start playing with the popsicle sticks and like the 
not pom poms, the cotton balls. And mm-hmm. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Like, I don't know how sanitary that is. So maybe I don't recommend. But I did remember one time I was in the hospital and I don't even think I was with a kid. I was with another adult and they were just like not having a good day. Mm-hmm. And so I took a surgical glove and I made a little puppet out of it. <laughs> and like, I like blew it up. And I, I can't remember how I did it, but I made the the pinky and the thumb, his like arms. And I think I somehow tied back the middle fingers to be the hair. And I like drew a face and it was like this little guy and it was funny. And I was like, it was funny because it was for an adult and they, they cracked up because you know, it's funny. And I was being bad by (laughs) taking the surgical glove. And it's unexpected (laughs) too. Like, you know, like even, uh, yeah. Okay. It's like a cute thing, but just the, Mm -hmm. the, like, it's so funny because it's unexpected, right? Like, that that adult probably wasn't expecting you to do that. So, oh, yeah. No. So, you, like, you probably made their day. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I just remember they were, like, because there was, it was, like, a lot of family members in the room. And I just started messing around with this thing. And they're, like, what is she doing? And I turned around and I'm, like, ha! <laughs> you know? It was, it was just fun, you know, just find ways to have fun you gotta you gotta laugh through things you know like I've been in hospitals not I don't think as often as Lisa has been but enough and like we always find some way to have fun and have some kind of humor because or else it's just like way too depressing yeah. and nobody needs that <laughs> yeah um so I I was reading the article um where the games were and afterward it it kind of went into like other things if those games fail, um, but it gave me some really good perspective. Um, so basically it said that, you know, waiting rooms are actually really a really good time for like family bonding. Um, Cause mm-hmm. when you think about it, like, yeah, you're stuck with your kid in like this waiting room and it's you're impatient or whatever, but like you're, you're, you're stuck with your kid. Like it's you and the kid and you don't have anywhere else to be. You don't have anything else to do. You're just there. So, a different perspective. You can look at it. You can, I don't know, you can like just enjoy this time with them. Like you can ask them, you know, how are they doing? Or you can make up your own game with them or, you know, um, and just have some, I don't know, have some quiet time. Uh, it doesn't have to be a bad thing to, you know, Mm -hmm. um, anyway, but yeah, so that was, it was a really nice perspective for me. Um, I was like, yeah, I I like to think about things that way. There's always a positive spin you can put on things. But I mean, Mm -hmm. I do understand, you know, based on whatever, as a mom, we go through so much. So, you know, it is hard to have that perspective if it's like been a long day, if you've driven far away, if you're, I don't know. Anyway, if you're stressed out about what you're doing there, then yeah. Yeah.